The pride of India is not the wealth of one individual. The pride of India lies in the robustness of its institutional structures. I don't want to get into a Wall Street short seller's allegations. That's not my job. I want answers to what I had asked in this parliament, what I have raised over and over again since 2019. In this house, in my repeated letters on record to the SEBI, to the CVC, to the DRI, the CBDT, and the Finance Ministry. It is a shame for us, it is a shame for our investigative agencies that these allegations against the A company were only listened to when global entities asked these questions. When I stood here, when I stood here and asked this question, the global world didn't believe us. Honorable Prime Minister, this man, Mr. A, has topi penowed you. He travels with you on your delegations. He meets heads of states on visits to India. He portrays that India is the Prime Minister and the Prime Minister is him. He makes it appear to the world that he is the remote control behind the Prime Minister and by obliging him, will be obliging the Prime Minister. You talk about elimination of telephone banking to PSUs and to LIC. Let me tell you that he gives the impression that doing things for him will put them in yours and in the Home Minister's good books. Honourable Member. Honourable Home Minister. Honourable Member, you still have that on your table, which I had said that it should what, not sir? be. Take it the top. Oh, okay. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. You should not have yeah. bought it. Honourable Home the Minister, house. he has topi penowed you. He has had the same shareholder for decades, yet his company says we are not legally obligated to tell us who it is. Yet he's taking security clearance for ports and airports from the Ministry of Home Affairs. His group companies have amassed nearly 42,000 crores in foreign portfolio investments from six Mauritius-based funds. These funds have commonalities like common address, common company secretary, common directors. There is an urgent need to investigate these funds. I have brought this up in this house since 2019. In addition, there are 40 shell companies linked to the promoter who have collectively moved billions of dollars into Indian companies of this favorite group. No disclosure of related party transactions have been made till date. There are media reports that funding into these companies is managed by a Chinese national, Chao Chu Ling. There are reports that is managed by his brother, artificially pumping up valuations by using pump and dump. His net worth has moved from 9 billion in 2020 to 90 billion in 2022, all in the anticipation of a follow-on follow public offering and FPO that was to be his moment of crowning glory. Madam Finance Minister, he has to open out you. When your ministry in parliament tells me that an investigation by the SEBI is ongoing, this company puts out a statement saying that they have been exonerated by the highest court of the land. Which court? Which nation? He also says his brother has no formal designation within the group, so any transactions with his brother or contro entities controlled by him need not be uh, uh, disclosed as related party transactions. Why has SEBI been a silent operator? Why would they permit a 20,000 crore FPO without completing an investigation report? Why didn't ask, uh, SEBI ask whether bankers had signed off on valuation? How is Mr. A's son's father-in-law allowed to be on the SEBI Committee on Insider Trading and Corporate Governance? How? Mr. Chairperson, sir, are you going to do your job and please ask the honorable gentleman to sit down? Are you going to do your job, sir, and ask this honorable gentleman to sit down? I think it is within the scope of your duty to either ask the gentleman to speak down or throw him out with the marshal. Sir, if he doesn't understand English, किसी और को इस तरह डिस्टर्ब करने की हक आपके नहीं है। The pride of India। आपका नामित किया जाएगा मैं। I warn you। I am, I am being to you। Let the other members from the ruling party are aware and make him aware। So one issue which is raging in the country, but that is a holy cow for many of us. Sir, cow Gomada, of course, will be trumpeting, but there is a bigger cow, holy cow, in this country. None other than Adani. Yes. Correct. Sir, you don't want us to discuss about Adani, the fiasco, the scandal that is <coughs> broken the entire world. <coughs> Sir, I gave three amendments with regard to this great episode. None of these amendments were accepted. Unfortunately, let me submit that similar amendments moved in the Lok Sabha were coopted and admitted. Sir, is this body way away from discussing those cardinal issues affecting the economy, affecting the integrity of this nation? 
affecting naturally the goodwill of this great country. Sir, I would charge this government for the first time in the history of India. This government is using patriotism and nationalism for protecting black money. That is the charge I am going to make. They are making this as a shield. Sir, can you imagine a CFO of a company in the backdrop of the national <coughs> fact talking about nationalism that his company needs to be protected in the name of patriotism? Can you ever imagine in this country? And please understand the gentleman you spoke about, the nationalism, is an Australian citizen, not even an Indian citizen. Yeah. Sir, this Hindenburg thing, I am sure that, I am sure that Javadekar ji, if at all he had advised Adani, Adani would have bought Hindenburg rather than NDTV. <coughs> he should have gone by his advice, sir. Javadekar ji, out of the cabinet now, no longer advises these people. I am sure about it. But sir, this is a, not a new thing. Please don't think that Hindenburg revelation is a new thing. Sir, before that, since 2016 onwards, there have been three exposes, sir. You're a legal luminary, sir. You're a legal luminary. Three exposes. Panama Papers, Paralyzed Papers, Pandara Papers. In two of these papers, which dealt with shell company, which dealt with black money, there was explicit reference to a gentleman associated with Adani. What did you do, sir? Javadekar ji, what did you do? Now we have to support this motion. See, you came to power in the name of black money. You have to do this. 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 You will put it in an account of the Indian citizens. What happened? And I will tell you, as per the Latest statistics, the black money stashed to the Swiss banks have doubled in eight years' time, sir. Yeah. So now, if you want to fulfill your promise, please put 30 lakhs in the account of each Indian. Yes. If at all you want to, yes. I mean, fulfill the promise, sir. With interest. Sir, sir, I have an analogy, sir. I have an analogy. Sir, I am seriously telling you. I, I hope that the, I mean, the Congress members would not take objection to it, sir. Sir, during the 80s, there was a government which came to power with three-fourth majority. But the so-called charges of a nexus between a business house and the then government was at Waterloo for that government. Sir, history is going to replay again. <coughs> they should actually <coughs> read the writing on the wall. <coughs> Mr. Adani, guys, Adani is going to take you down. ED, CBI, SEBI. Here is a big scam happening. Some saying 1 lakh, 2 lakhs, we're not getting into the number. Will the government of India use the draconian PMLA, Money Laundering Act, Will they use it? They use it very efficiently to hound the opposition, to put lookout notices, and even to topple governments. There's a very interesting statistic here, sir. In the last eight years, 5,422 laundering cases registered, money laundering, 98% have been done in the last nine years. Interestingly, only 1%, 25 people have been conducted by the ED. You cannot have one rule for the opposition and your opponents, and you cannot have one rule for your friends and cronies. No, sir, you can't. Now, let's come to LIC. My previous speaker has done me a service. He's explained so much about LIC, SBI, and the, Adani's, and the Adani story. Because there's lots of money at risk 
of the poor and the middle class. Now, whose job is this? The government's job? To be the watchdog? But in the midst of all this, the government is turning a blind eye and we saw the virulent, strong support which the treasury benches had when issues like corporate misgovernance and Adani was brought up here, how strongly you responded to it, reacted to it, Support. and supported it, and uh, you were shielding it. Shielding it. <laughs> shame, shame. So, the sad thing is, there is a misgovernance, and there's a manipulation of valuation. But your reply is only one, which says that it is against the nation. It's unpatriotic. <laughs> it is against India. The same Heidenberg report, the same Heidenberg Hindenburg, Hindenburg has given reports about 15 institutions, some in the US, some in China. None of these countries said it is against the country. It was against the institution. But when we are talking about Adani, it becomes against the country. Anti <laughs> so I, I, I am really confused. I really want, you, you started calling India Bharat. Now I want to know what is the next progress. What is India? What is Adani? If talking against Adani is talking against India, I really want a clarification. You become anti-Indian. <laughs> And what happens to the common people, people who believe in hard work, who think that they can save their money because it is a government bank and they will trust LIC. What happens to their future? They, they trust LIC because they think the, their children's futures are protected. How do you, what are the answers you have for them? Is this the way you respond to these hardworking common people of this country? And this government is very happy to close down every public sector undertaking. If it is profit making, sell it to Tatas. <laughs> if it is, <laughs> or not, they do not come forward to help them, support them, and make sure that they are run. They want to close it, they want to sell it off. But then when it comes to a private corporate, why is the government going out of its way to support it, to help? And why are you protecting it? We want to understand what is the proximity. Yeah, they care, it's oh, oh, please. Poster, Prime Minister, Prime Minister, Prime photo Prime Minister, Prime Minister, Prime Minister, Prime तो मैंने सोचा कि आज के प्रेसिडेंट्स एड्रेस में मैं थोड़ा जो नरेंद्र मोदी जी का और अदानी जी का रिश्ता है उसके बारे में आपको थोड़ा बता देता हूं प्लीज प्लीज बताइए बताइए तो वो आप बता देना सो सो so the relationship begins many years ago when Narendra Modi ji was the chief minister of Gujarat. And when most of India's business was asking questions of the prime minister, was against the prime minister, one man stood shoulder to shoulder with the prime minister then back down. That's commendable. It's not a joke. He's a, he, he, he was loyal 
Jesus to the Prime Minister. And what did he do? He helped Mr. Modi construct the idea of resurgent Gujarat. Right? The idea that the idea that you bring these businessmen together, you bring these businessmen together, and you call it resurgent Gujarat, vibrant Gujarat, they both. And he was the backbone in setting up that group of people. Okay? And the result of that was tremendous growth of his businesses in Gujarat. Expansion of his businesses. I think then the real magic starts. Jab Pradhan Mantri ji Delhi aate hai. और 2014 में असली जादू शुरू होता है मैंने कहा कि 2014 में वो 609 नंबर पे थे कुछ ही सालों में वो दूसरे नंबर पे पहुंच गए कैसे कैसे पहुंचे मैं आपको बहुत सारी इंडस्ट्रीज में काम करते हैं मैं आपको दो तीन इंडस्ट्रीज का उदाहरण दे देता हूं 